Hi guys, today I'm going to show you a model uh, or a remix that I made of a Stevenson screen. Um, and the reason why I've done this is to be able to uh, have it pole mounted or, or mount uh, the screen on a, on a wall. Um, and um, so what you see here in, in, uh, in the top part is the meshes that are for the uh, default, um, the default model that you see in the description or linked as the remix. So I'm going to turn those off and you see the extensions or additions here. And um, either you can use the normal grid if you want to have it uh, with just with a temperature sensor in it. Uh, but I have uh, added a, a small uh, DC fan here. And so this is a, a printout to be able to mount that and you will see how it looks live uh, shortly after this. And what you need is to add print this and then add M3 threaded uh, inserts um, for them here. Uh, so you can mount the DC fan and there's well uh, enough space in here to, to mount that. Um, you need the and um, also threaded inserts here in the top. Uh, so add M3 inserts here and you need M3 rods for the, for the whole mounting. Um, then you see also M4 threaded rods that I have bent like this. Either you can buy it, uh, this is standard um, size of, of uh, this mounting equipment for, for pole mounting, um, or you can bend it yourself. It's easy and that's why I've chosen M4. Uh, and then for as a extra support, here are M5 rods. You add nuts here uh, on the top and the bottom uh, to be able to make it sturdy and, uh, and adjust it. Uh, so you actually use three different sizes. It's the M4, M3, M4 and then M5 threaded rods to, uh, to make, this, uh, uh, make this construction. And again, so if you have this DC fan, then of course you need to have this sensor connected to a weather station that is uh, powered on always, since it's going to consume some, uh, some power of course to, to drive the, the DC fan. Um, and um, I print this in, um, in PETG. Uh, you could do it in ABS. I, I think you can use PLA also. Uh, make sure to put some paint on it. Uh, white is ideal, of course. Uh, it would match better to have black on uh, for if you have the, a rain gauge and uh, a, a Davis wind sensor, for example, that is also black. But uh, I don't uh, dare to jeopardize any anything to get any impact on, of, uh, of the black uh, color. So put some white paint on it and it will look really nice. And this is how it looks in, uh, in how it looks live. So now this model is printed. Um, as you can see, it's quite a number of, of printouts that you need to do. Um, and um, as I mentioned before, you can use the, the standard grid. That is, if you want to have a, just a temperature sensor, and you can just uh, stripe it here to um, to your um, to the Stevenson screen. And insert it, um, but um, as, as I mentioned before, I will want I want to have it uh, to be sure to, to be able to ventilate this uh, cage here on, on warm summer days. So I made this addition also then to to add a DC fan, um, and it's a standard uh, Cat5 cable, so it has eight connections in here, but uh, I only. Um, I only use five of them um, because that's what is needed here for for the for the sensors and uh, so it's three wires for the for the temperature sensor. Uh, it's uh, plus uh, three point three volt and ground and then the the one wire. And um, then there's also uh, two wires for the that is uh, uh, ground and uh, twelve volt feeding for the for the DC fan. So that's basically it. And then I just striped it. First I just um, had a sh heat shrink tube and to put it together and uh, do the connections. Um, but that, that's basically it. Uh, to get the, the fan connected here you just have these M3 uh, threaded inserts uh, that you melt into the into the mold and then some screws to, to connect the fan. Uh, for the connections I usually uh, use these GX12 connectors, like uh, microphone uh, connectors. 
and they're easy to solder and um, and uh, easy to work with and get a good connection also. Um, so if we take just to plug this in, I've connected then the the two wires that are for the for the fan, and uh, so then you should be able to control it and maybe run it for 10 seconds on a, on a warm day and then just uh, stop it again. So we don't want any additional heat coming from the from the DC fan, so it should only run for very short uh, short periods of time, uh, so it doesn't affect the temperature inside here. And it's easy to to mount it uh, inside here. Also, there's enough room. Sorry for the noise here. So you just slot this in like that, and as you can see, there's plenty of room in there. And this is how it looks uh, mounting it. Enjoy. So guys, here you have the result. It's um, a pretty big model, as you can see, uh, and it takes some time to print this. Uh, I'm using PETG and I haven't put an enormous amount of time on, on post-processing this. Um, again, it's PETG, so it's not it, the easiest to, to sand, but uh, it, it's good enough, I think, and uh, put some spray paint on it so, so it looks very nice. But yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a sturdy and a good construction here. And in the description, I will show you how, uh, how you can use this to hook it, uh, hook it up to, uh, to a weather station so you get this reported to your, uh, to your home automation. Thanks, guys, for watching.